can't get through the noise. What's going on? Hope you enjoyed the uh, modern Elmer Fudd fighting the noise. Um, that's one of the most ridiculous things I've probably ever recorded. <laughs> but I wanted to have some fun with it because I got two Ultra Horns with twist port adapters. Now we're gonna open this bad boy up and I'm gonna show it to you because they're pretty cool. This is an Ultra Horn. Um, has the handle up top, so it's it's not real heavy, but you know the handle up top actually makes it pretty pretty wieldable. But it even has a hole in here, so you can clip it to your belt if you're climbing a tower to install these things. That's pretty cool. Is it bad that I kind of want to see what's in it? <laughs> I have a bit that'll take those out. Mm. Maybe later. I don't want to break the thing before I even use it. So that's the horn part. And then there's a box of mounting hardware. The mounting is pretty straightforward. What you do is first you'd mount the arm on the pole. And then, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? Then you do the, uh, the actual arm thing on the horn. That's pretty cool. And I like that better than the ubiquity ones because the ubiquity ones, they're all one piece a lot of the time. Uh, my AF24s, they were, they had like a, a mounting thing and then you'd slide the radio down on it. That one wasn't too bad, but the dishes that I use now, they don't really do that. They do kind of, but it's, it's a much less elegant system, put it that way. This thing, you just take up the little arm, clamp it on the pole, bring the, the horn up and slide it on, done. You would loosen the arm on the pole to get your, your uh, azimuth and then you would loosen the uh, these to get your elevation adjustment. So super easy. Now, one of the coolest things about this though is this, this is awesome. This is called a twist port adapter. You slot your, what's going on? Why'd you come in that door? I was like, who the hell's coming in here? Did you? Oh. Instead of monkeying around with, you know, little pigtails and wires and little little nuts that screw onto the, the top of the radio and all that kind of noise. You just stick it in there. That's it. <laughs> then this goes on the back of the, uh, the horn and you're up and running. I showed that part in the beginning, uh, clicking this in and then putting it on the back of the, the horn. That's really all it is. It's really all it takes to get this, uh, get this all connected and up and running. Very, very clever design. So, Again, thank you very much, um, RF Elements, Tassos, uh, Streakwave, everybody that made this possible. Uh, thank you so much. We're gonna get the install done here in, I don't know, maybe a few weeks, a couple weeks, something like that. I'm not 100% I'm not sure when, but uh, it's coming up soon. Of course, I'll make a video out of it. Um, like I was saying before, we're gonna do a um, Ubiquity Dish versus Ultra Horn video. Somebody said on my Discord, Link in the description down below to join. Someone in the Discord had a really good idea. They said that we could do a, you know, the way I have it now, aimed like total garbage. Aim it better, get it like as good as we can, see how it does, then swap it out for this. Do like a, a three-part, not a three-part video, but uh, three separate tests in the same in the same video. So I think that's probably what we're gonna do because yeah, the the way they're aimed right now is pretty awful. I think they could be better. Um, then we can do this and see. See how, how it actually performs, how it really compares to the ubiquity stuff. So should be pretty interesting because as far as I know, no one's done that. I'm looking forward to it. Should be pretty awesome. Hope you guys are too. Any questions or comments or anything, you know the drill uh, down below. For now, later. Oh, and uh, before I go, next week is probably going to be a fact video, a ask me anything, if you will. So please, you know what to do down below the video, ask away. I'm doing that because I get a lot of emails from people that either have no idea how it works at all or are asking very basic things. It's cool. It's no big deal. I mean, we all start somewhere, right? But there's still basic stuff that 
you should probably know if you're thinking about doing this. Like, you have to have a connection. <laughs> you have to plug the radios into something. You have to have a connection to sell. I mean, you can't just put up radios and then poof, things happen. You have to have a connection to sell. Uh, I've had more than a couple emails where people didn't get that at all. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to do a kind of basics um, Q&A sort of video like that next week. So if you have any questions or anything, you know, you know the drill. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs>